Welcome back to another episode of SMP United, where in our last episode, we built this lovely hot air balloon, and unfortunately, we ran out of time in said episode to finish it, but off camera, I have finished it, and I'm not gonna lie, it's looking pretty, pretty good. And if we move farther away and get a far away view, it looks even better. Without all like the wood, just that little plank there just so I can get up to it. But besides that, this hot air balloon is pretty much completed. And of course, off camera, after I finished the episode, I added a couple of different little things just to improve my starter base because I realized there was a lot of room for improvement. Firstly, of course, the most notable change is the red wool surrounding the top of the balloon. But also, as you can see, I've added a crafting table. I've added barrels for storage so I can have more room to put all of my stuff. And I've got an, a parrot who just kind of watches me sleep. And I did a little off-camera armor stain artwork, and I gotta say, it came out really good. He's just missing a chest plate. But with that, the armor stand is complete. It looks great now that he's fully clothed. And if you're wondering why I just, my experience levels just went down by three, I, I died. I, I really, I don't want to talk about it. I just don't want to talk about it, okay? But getting into today's episode, while I was building this balloon, I had a very strange encounter with my friend Austin. How are you today? Are you good? Are you being the good? Oh, right. are you? Oh, yep. Uh, hi, hi, Austin. Hello, Austin. Hello. How are you? Uh, good. I'm still getting used good. to this voice ma mod. Like I just, yeah. I was having a very serious conversation up here, and I just hear. Oh, right. I just with, I with hear who? your voice. With who? Um, you don't need to know that. You've come to what have you come here for? You, you have oh, motives, I suppose. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I almost forgot. I, it took me so long just to just to get here. But uh, yeah, I want to ask you if you know maybe if you want to just I don't know just join a cult. I mean, I am technically the president of the SMP this season. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I need. I'm having a midlife crisis. I got to spice things up a little bit. So sure. Yeah. Yeah, nice. All right, so you know, um, it's pretty fun. You know, we do like you know, like we do like kind of weekly meetings and stuff like that. You oh know? yeah. You gotta you gotta sign up for that. You know, you just gotta do all like, the whole process and everything. But yeah, it should be fun. You know. I just need to know. Uh, there's yeah. no like death rituals in this cult, right? No, 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 no. It's pretty new. It's pretty new. We won't okay. have those yet, but who knows? Yet. Yeah. What? Uh, huh? <laughs> So, so what's the cult about, might I ask? Oh, yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty new one. You know, we're still kind of getting out the kinks and everything, but so far we're kind of just worshiping uh, ice. I like it. You know, I, yeah. ice is like worthy of worshiping. I have no ice. I yep. live in a hot air balloon. Ice would yeah, melt no. here. Very much, yeah. So I suppose you live in an icy climate then. Yes, very cold. I have lost all my all feeling in my body but yeah dang that's pretty you that's, get used to it so oh, oh, <laughs> oh so you, you felt that there. though uh, uh, i'm just gonna stay here all right well i mean i guess i'm in there's no payment because i'm obviously nope oh, well mayor. actually the, we get a we actually give people some uh here uh cookies oh do i get Free hot cookies chocolate for with this? new initiates yeah there better be hot chocolate at the meeting so I can dip these cookies no, in No, nothing hot. Oh. You, yeah, uh, I forgot to ask you, uh, yeah, when you join the call, uh, you forsake any warmth. No warmth. Only, only cold Only cold. Feelings. We embrace the cold. Embrace it. All right. Embrace the cold. Oh, oh you're getting a little close there, but all right. Embrace the oh, cold. God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. I guess I'll know when the meeting is, right? You'll just send, like, an evaluator or yeah, something? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll send uh, I don't know, a nice bird. Something. Well, well, they'll be like, will I, something like drop out of the sky, and I'll just notice it. Yes, a frozen uh, I don't know, something. <laughs> we'll th we'll like throw snowballs at you with like our notes edged into it. That's basically like our mode of communication. I see. Um, with snowballs. Well, yeah. I I'm definitely in. But before you all leave, what do you, what do you think of my base? 
I think it's good. I think it's good. You know, it's pretty nice. It, it uh, maybe a little bit more blue, a little bit more freezing cold, but uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty limited space, if you ask me. I mean, it's for a hot, storage. It's you a know? it's a hot air balloon. What do you expect? I expect more storage for my hot air balloon esque. I mean, storage things. I don't know. I guess you're right. I don't even have like a furnace. I need. I, I think I need an upgrade. I need I need like somewhere that I can put my storage and my cooking supplies. Yeah. But all right, I, I guess I do need something better to put storage yeah. and my food. Yeah. Oh yeah. Another thing that when joining the ice call, we kind of have standards for our uh, initiates' living arrangements. So yeah, probably need to try to make a better. I definitely mean, definitely much better than a like <laughs> one nine by a nine block living space wow yes. okay okay you yeah. know what you know what you know wow. like just i i joined your yeah, call wait, leave oh, wow okay uh, all right uh great great meeting you, you all right i'll see you later how did you not die <laughs> I, I caught myself on a break. oh my god Bye bye and much thinking later while the balloon in itself is a beautiful and great looking build it doesn't offer like austin said much living space there's not a lot of storage when you think about how much Minecraft items I'm going to gather in the future. There's just not enough room for me to live in this hot air balloon. I could sleep here, I could cook some food here, I could craft here, but besides that, there's not much functionality to this hot air balloon. So where do we go from here? What, what do we build so I can have enough functionality and be able to join the ice cult with Austin and other people that haven't joined yet. So like Austin said, his cult, he likes it people to live in great living arrangements. So I thought we could build in the jungle here a mess hall, kind of themed after Harry Potter's mess hall in the sense of it being grand and big. And I thought it would be cool if we built it out of the side of this mountain. We would dig in the mountain, we would clean it up a little bit, make this area look a little bit better. And as you can see, I've collected some resources here for this build to make it look even better. And it's gonna, it's gonna look a little old, a little ruined. We're not gonna finish it today, I don't have all the resources, but we're at least gonna dig it out and get the main structure set up. And I think it will look really, really good. And I forgot to mention this at the beginning of my video, but we actually got the voice mod working now in our Minecraft server, the proximity chat. It's really cool. It's a really cool feature. But I'm just mentioning this so if there's any audio issues in this video, it's just because we're just using this proximity chat for the first time. Obviously, it will get better if there are any issues, but I don't think there should be any issues. So without further ado, let's hop into a time lapse and let's build this mess hall. Hit it. And with that, after about an hour or two of building, this burrow is starting to come together. It looks absolutely amazing, or at least the start of it does. There is still a lot of work left to do on this burrow. For one, the actual floor needs to be torn up. There needs to be a nice, new, neat-ish neat floor. Um, villagers are going to be put into these little cubby holes so I can trade with them. Back here, there's going to be a nice little auto smelter and some more storage space along the walls. And, of course, the big dining table that will cut through the center of it all to complete this beautiful build. But, unfortunately, guys, I don't have the resources and we have run out of time for today's episode. 
I hope you guys really enjoyed today's episode. This build, I've been designing it for at least two or three days now. And I gotta say, I'm not like 100% with this roof, but it's coming on to me. It's, it's, I'm liking it. Ah, God, where is that? There's a shooter in the jungle. Run. But like I was saying, it's growing on me figuratively and literally as it the moss is growing into the jungle. I'm trying to make it look like stuff has fallen on it. It's an old roof. But I think it's going to look really good once everything is complete and all the little details are in here. But we got a lot done in today's episode. We finished our balloon. We got invited into a cult or a group that's main focus is ice. I, I got to find out more information, but I guess I joined. Um, and then we built this lovely structure, which looks really great from the top of the trees. Look at that. It just looks really cool poking out from the bushes, from the mountain, into the horizon. And we're going to spruce up the front of it a little too in the next episode. We'll, we'll get most of it done in the next episode. But I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button if you really enjoyed. Subscribe. We're so close to 160. And I will see you guys in the next time. Bye!